What is something that disappeared after the pandemic? A couple of locally owned restaurants I enjoyed in my town didn't survive COVID. Rip the one Indian food place within 100 miles. Places open late. I'm so sick of things closing at 8 p.m. Some of us don't work 9 to 5. Housekeeping at hotels. My friend group. 24-hour Walmart. McDonald's all-day breakfast and salads. My outgoingness. I think the lack of interacting face-to-face -face with people has made me a lot more introverted. Me eating at a restaurant. Pre-pandemic it was easy to get a meal for $10. Now that same meal costs $20 or more with the tip also doubling. The hell if I'm going to waste that amount of money. About 75% of public transportation. So many services cut on the grounds that nobody was using them, because we were in lockdowns, that have not resumed even after most people have been dragged back to their physical workplace. My good excuse for overindulging my introversion. Free samples at grocery stores. Suplantation, sweet tomatoes. Spatial awareness. I swear when I go to a busy store these days, it's nearly impossible to get around people to look at anything. Or they just stand in the middle of the aisle. I have physical restaurant menus. I honestly don't remember if it was like that before too, but people seem more patient and tolerant before lockdowns. Dating. I struggle to connect with strangers post-pandemic. Everyone just feels off. Feet my paycheck. Affordable housing. Snow days a free day off no one could f hashtag CK with, and now it's gone forever. Jobs, schools, everything can now be remote. A tragic whole generation of school kids are going to grow up never knowing the joy of no school on a snow day. YouTube videos without ads. In my neighborhood it is holiday decorations. I have several neighbors that never put out their Halloween decorations, when I asked two of them they said they were just not into it anymore. Last Christmas was the same. People caring about animal crossing. All the hobbies we picked up during lockdown. Slow pace of life. Which was nearly non-existent but when the pandemic hit it allowed people to slow down and just enjoy life and family and friends. I miss that again. It seems like everyone is in a hurry to get back to things the way they were. A lot of people's trust in the system. 70 pounds off my body. Choices, reasonable prices, and the ability to haggle when purchasing a car. City market salad bar. Hot dog steamers at convenience stores in Maine. I work in the restaurant industry and I swear people are 1000% more entitled now than before the pandemic. It feels like everyone forgot how to act in public. Empty freeways, highways, roads, streets. The lack of traffic was awesome. Being able to avoid people you really wanted to avoid under the guise of social distancing and, or isolation. Hopefully going to work even though you don't feel well. My savings sad face. People's ability to reason with one another. My hope for humanity. My resistance from going on Reddit and looking at random bull, asterisk, 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 asterisk. Bunch of people's grandparents. Stable inflation rate. My sense of joy about the world. At 33, all I feel is an empty, sad, uneasy feeling every morning when I wake up. I moved across the country with my GF to a small mountain town, but even looking at the vastness of nature out here just leaves me sad. People in my space, back the flock up, please. Confidence in society's response to any sort of national emergency. Therapy. It's so hard to find a decent therapist that sees clients in person. All therapists within my network are only taking clients via Skype, Zoom and that's if you can even find one with availabilities. My mental health. The flocks I give. Billions of snow crabs. Any belief I had that a huge portion of the population wasn't dumb. My confidence. Jehovah Witness door knockers. My belief that the vast majority of people are good. I don't believe that anymore. The remembrance of how much can be done online instead of having to show up. Disneyland annual pass. Affordable housing. Buffets and salad bars at restaurants. Just from the perspective of global news, it seems like terrorism is down. Al-Qaeda and ISIS were on a long run leading up to 2020. It definitely had died down prior to 2020 but has been virtually non-existent, since the pandemic, outside of the Levant countries, and even there.